What up there, peeps? I know, um, I'm th this is like kind of an unannounced video. You know, I'm, I'm still doing my Freddy vs. Jason review. I'll do that later, like my normal time. But I need to rant about something. I just saw... I'm just going to be ranting about cancel culture for a second. Just because, you know, I usually try to avoid topics like these for the most part. But it's just today um a book made by the captain underpants writer you know books i've read as a child um ook and gluk was almost like his other story and i guess one of them there's a depiction of asians or whatever and he's basically coming out and apologizing for negative hysteria I'm, I'm tired of this shit no one was complaining about this shit when i was growing up i was reading these books as a fucking child no, and no one was saying shit. It's just it's, uh, recently with this, the whole Dr. Seuss thing, the, you know, them trying to Nickelodeon pulling certain episodes of SpongeBob. Um, the whole, I mean, it kind of started last year with the whole Aunt Jemima thing, trying to cancel Uncle Ben. All these mascots because they're quote unquote racist or whatever. When no one was saying shit for years. And I'm, I'm going to say, you know who it usually is? And I'm not going to pick a side. It's what, I'm going to say it, it's white guilt people. People who have so much white guilt who feel like they need to overcompensate. So they got to be overly offended. Because I'm going to say, most black people bought fucking Aunt Jemima. We have Uncle Ben in our house. I, I No one was saying shit about Dr. Seuss. Those are books I read as a fucking kid, man. And all these companies doing this dumb shit, like this weird overcorrection these companies are doing now is just, it's angering. And I, you know, it's just, I've been watching this for too long. This last, like, year, I've been just seeing this shit. Like, something like, I, remember, I think it was like Disney Plus. I don't know if they took the movie off or they took it off. Like, they took fucking Peter Pan off because I guess the whole Native Americans. And I'm going to say this. It's going to sound fucked. But, you know, may, and obviously I think you could say some things were questionable. But at least, I, I, as much as I hate the whole disclaimer thing, just do that. Just taking it off. And you know what? We're going to act like it, it's erasing history in a way. It's almost like. If they could do it here, they could do it everywhere else. I'm just, I'm tired of this culture. No one was saying shit. Until now. You know? All of us, yeah, Pepe Le Pew, that was another one I just thought about right now. The Pepe Le Pew thing. Where, oh, he's not gonna be in a, cause some dumb fucking cunt wrote some shitty article about, oh, Pepe Le Pew would be this great culture, even though... Like Ben Affleck said in fucking Jane Silent Bob, fictional fucking characters. And the whole gag was he didn't get the girl. And there was another one, there's an episode where it was like reverse, where she was obsessed with him. You know, it's, it's fucking cartoons. So what is, and I'm not, I wasn't going to watch this movie anyway because it has bitch ass LeBron in it. But Space Jam 2, they, were, they had like a, you know, a little quick Pepe Le Pew gag. And then, but they cut it out. Because, oh, uh, just because I guess because that sh one article it, it's it's ridiculous man like when where does it fucking stop Pepe Le Pew for one wasn't gonna be like a big part of the movie anyway if you watch the original Space Jam they mainly focused on like obviously Bugs Daffy Lola Bunny like all the bigger named Characters like Pepe Le Pew had a quick gag if I remember in that film and it was gonna be another one It wasn't like he was gonna be a big mem member of the team or anything It's like what the fuck? I'm so just I mean, there's people who still try to go after, you know, Speedy Gonzalez. Luckily, majority of people called that shit out there. No. Um, 
A lot of Latino people love Speedy Le Gonzalez, just like most black people have Aunt Jemima in their house. It's never, for the, I mean, besides, there's probably, I'm not saying none exists, there's probably people who bitch about it, but most of the time, it's these white guilt fucking Karen motherfucker types. They always feel like they gotta get offended for others. This is fucking stupid. Pepe Le Pew was a fictional character, because if that's the case, I watch slasher movies. My channel, especially the last, you know, few months, I've just been reviewing slasher films. If I was, uh, if we're gonna use that logic, Pepe Le Pew makes rape culture a thing, I should be like a psycho murderer right now. It's retarded, man. And where we're going in society, it's frustrating. And just canceling, like I said, and I know some people will say, oh, but these are just minor mascots. But like, but like the thing is, it could start there, but who's to say they won't get to like actual, like actual history that fucking matters. All I'm saying is, you don't, if you don't call it out now, dude, they'll do it with actual history. That's why, in my opinion, I believe you should call this shit out. Even if it's, oh, quote unquote, not that big a deal. No, man, call this shit out because they could easily do it with actual history. I'm just saying, the, 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 we need to, we need, people need to start calling this shit out. This shit is ridiculous. <sighs> I needed to get that off my chest. Fuck cancel culture. Fuck this bullshit going on. I needed to call it out really quick. I will be still doing my Freddy vs. Jason review in a little bit later. And, uh, yeah. But other than that, I'll see you in a bit. Later. Take a warm hit. Alright guys, talk to you guys next time. Fuck cancel culture. Peace.